Ugh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! Ah! Lewis, get in here! It's dark and I'm frightened! I think they've got this thing backwards. Hey, wake up! I had a bad dream, so now your night has to be terrible. Hey, you, go easy on the communion wine today. Don't want another one of your drunken mishaps. Let me get in that belly. <laughs> Let me get that <laughs> oh, my God! I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. We now return to Ellen only talks when her guest is talking. So you want to hear about my movie? Uh, I had a great, we spent great weekend three months this weekend. I, I danced all over and, you know, uh, my house. Thriller, I, I, I tried to really dance in every room at least once too. a week. I, I also listen to jazz while I vacuum, which is cool. Anyway, it comes out I Friday, and I got to work with Julianna Margulies. I think there's like something in the nicer. air, like smog or pollen or po pollinated smog. Or... Are you just going to talk over everything I love that talking I on TV. I'll do, I'll do anything to talk on TV. I replaced Peter's I Can't Believe It's Not Butter with Real Butter. But what? But I, I can't, I can't believe you. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Okay, I'll give you a tiny bit of this. It should help you sleep. What is it? It's cough syrup. It's not really for kids, but a capful is pretty harmless. Hmm. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Stewie, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, Brian. Oh, there you are. I've been, I've been looking all over the table for you. You know, I'm going to tell you, this stuff you gave me was a lifesaver last night. I was out like a light. And, you know, normally I'm up five or six times to scream and defecate. But you know what? I slept straight through. Stewie, I told you, there's alcohol in that. It's not for kids. You're not for kids. <laughs> Stewie, you're drunk. Okay, okay, it's all right. Calm down, calm down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I put my shoes on the wrong feet. Is it 9.15 already? Lois, we gotta go. Our top story. An austere monetary policy has the European Union on the brink of collapse, threatening the entire global economy. And for viewers making less than $40,000 a year, your top story is a big UFC fight this Saturday. Joe, why are you dressed like that? Because I'm a mixologist. Oh, cool. What can you make? You name it, I can make it. Could I get an old-fashioned? Classic. Rum and Coke coming right up. And could I get a Moscow Mule? Rum and Coke for my comrade. I'll have a whiskey Rum, Coke coming right up. Could I get a Rum and Coke? A Pepsi okay? But I guess I learned my lesson about the evils of Wall Street. What are you talking about? This isn't about Wall Street. This is about you. Me? I've been investing in the market forever and doing just fine. You did it for one week and were literally eating your own kind. This isn't about Wall Street. I cannot stress that enough. Well, money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. It's just you. If we praise Jesus by singing all together, it makes this whole exercise seem less bizarre than it really is when you actually stand back and examine it with some objectivity. Please be seated. And so did the Corinthians finally write back to St. Paul saying, Dude, enough with the letters. We have received them all and we'll get back to you when we have the time. And by the way, a lot of the information you're asking for is available online. Hey, nice talk, Chief. Hey, go buy the wife something pretty. Oh, Father, your homily was so moving today. Okay, Lois, bye. Bye, church. Bye, church guy. Bye, unending conversation. Bye, terrible church people. Bye. Hey, are you a big, fat bastard who loves eating at Outback Steakhouse but thinks the portions are too small? Well, good news, fat ass, because now there's the Outback Steakhouse Extreme. We don't have a bloomin' onion. We have a bloomin' pumpkin. You know what else we got? Elephant steaks, 50 pound elephant steaks. And why don't you wash it down with 40 ounces of malt liquor and ranch dressing, you fat <laughs> Outback Steakhouse Extreme. Punish your toilet. Peter, be careful up there. Is this being careful enough, Joe? All right. Yeah! Peter, are you okay? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. 
Don't hold him like that. Oh, my God, Peter, that's the lost Nicholson kid. He's been missing for a week. Oh, yeah. They arrested a custodian because of you. You know, some of you out there are calling me a hero. Others are calling me a hoagie. Those of you from Connecticut are calling me a grinder. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not just pieces of meat between pieces of bread. I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Wow. 20 years on the force and no one's ever clapped for me, except for that one sarcastic gay guy. Great observation. Fact is, when I saved that boy, I wasn't thinking. I don't think, I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it. So I climbed up there and came out a hero. It's just like Gandhi always said. Eat as much as you want and do whatever. And don't be afraid to hit each other. My God, it's a miracle. You were able to put me back together again. Yeah, it was actually a pretty simple procedure. Maybe next time go straight to a medical professional and skip the horses and illiterate servants. Well, that is the last time I drink and masturbate on top of a high wall. I thought I was dead. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve I don't know, Chris. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Well, so then Jack takes these two pails of water and trips and totally falls down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a funny story. Jill had a tooth fall out and she swallowed it and then we had to root through her feces to find it. And we did. And then we took it to the dentist and he put it back in her mouth. So I guess we're both klutzes, huh? Why don't you spin another tail, crap tooth? No? My turn again? Okay. Jill's barren. Coming up, a white waiter at a Chinese restaurant? We'll get you the facts on this bizarre story. But first, this week's viral video, Fat Kid Hustles Through Crosswalk. Here it is. Here's little Chubbo pulling up the rear. Oh, he's got to get moving now. That's right. Don't let your chocolate levels get too low. Okay, now see, she didn't say good morning to me. So I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. I noticed you also circled a bunch of things on her ticket. Why did you do that? Because otherwise, the line moves too quickly. You see, the whole thing we're going for here at the TSA is a sort of bored fascism. Hmm, huh, I think I can handle that. I did not tell you to approach. Great job. The worst thing a passenger can do is approach your podium before you tell them to. As bad as those 19 hijackers were, the people we see here every day are much worse. Wow. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. You know, Lois always dreamed about coming here, and now I know why. She was even saving money for it. You made it, Lois. You made it. And what about Bonnie? How are you getting her back? Well, I got a plan for that. I hired some guys to come to the house on Tuesday and assault her. And I'll come in and save her. And she'll be so grateful, she'll have to take me back. Joe, today's Tuesday. Well, poop.